Okay, everything you need to know about surf lakes. Well, first off, this is a demo facility created just to produce um, a few waves and show people the technology. Hopefully soon, it will be a commercial surf park where the public can come and enjoy the waves. They will redo the shoreline. Right now, the plunger behind me sends out a wave, a set of waves, set of four waves, every six minutes. That will change to four waves every 90 seconds once they have the new plunger installed. Area of the shoreline will be relined with the new concrete. The thing I noticed about uh, surfing here is that you have more of an open feeling. Uh, it's, it's like an ocean wave. Each wave is slightly different. A lot of people get the preconceived notion that every wave is the same in a wave pool. Here it's very much like outdoors, Australian, outback, and that's kind of the vibe. But when it is public, let's focus on that because it will be open to the public and you'll have choice of one of the breaks. Right behind me is Aki's Peak. And on the other side is what they call the beach break. Then further to that is the wedge. And behind me to the left is the island. The island is very uh, gnarly, intense, and difficult to surf. Um, right now the water is brown because they have a liner that they installed just to test the facility and that liner has come up. The new cool bottom construction, uh, the water will remain clear. All right, and uh, that's about it. Hope to see you out here in a year or two. The current plunger was designed for 150,000 cycles. The new plunger will be able to push through 50 million cycles. In addition, a muffler will quiet the whooshing steam that you hear right before a set comes out. And there will also be an addition, uh, a new break that will mirror Aki's peak, but with an easier takeoff. And of course, the lake will be surrounded with uh, public wave pool amenities and comforts, restaurants, cafes, and such. Um, when will this all happen? Founder Aaron Trevis told us they're eyeing a late 2024 public opening.